what is up guys welcome back to another episode of hot roulette and today we are bringing you guys episode number seven so before we start we're going to do a little bit of a team update just to refresh your memories but as you can see on our first line we got ryan o'reilly henrik Sedin, and mike fisher and on our second line we got Purcell, valtteri filpula and we got uh, mason raymond on the second line third line is looking like Toulouse, shen and hemshi fourth line andrew ghetto colin wilson and bo bennett i just butchered his name colin wilson and Bo Bennett. And on the defenseman spot, we got uh, Zach Redman, we got Kevin Shattenkirk, we got Truba, Gallagher, kind of a questionable defender pairing, as well as Soderberg and Tanev. So our defenders are looking a little bit weak, but we will be improving them in the next couple games, as well as the Finnish master, Pekka Rene, who will lead the team hopefully for the next 100 games. I don't know how many episodes we're going to get through, but that is how our team was looking, but before we start, I'm going to mention two rules that I want to change because you guys were a little bit unhappy with the rules and same with me. So, what I'm going to do is from now on, depending on our loss streak is how many players we lose. So we want to stay away from loss streaks. If we lose three in a row, that means we have to lose uh, three players from random.org. We lose five in a row, we have to lose five players. Obviously, it doesn't happen that often, but it still does happen and that will uh really drastically change the team so we want to stay away from those lost streaks as well as you guys were saying that we wanted to see some special cards in the team as well so from now on if we can win five in a row uh we will randomize on random.org all the selections like legends uh the movembers team of the weeks we will randomize all those selections and then we will choose a player depending on the amount of shots we got per game so it's pretty much similar to what we're doing already but we're just using random.org to give us a chance to get all types of special cards. Anyways, I will list all the rules in the description box below if you want to reread them. But anyways, we're going to start into a couple games here. Let's get into the first one. So our first game is about to begin and let's see who he has. Claude Giroux. Uh, I didn't see who was on his right side, but he also has... I think that was Taylor Hall. But let's get into a couple... Or uh, let's get into this game. Let's see how we do. Oh, nice sauce. Go Fisher. Fisher. Uh, Deacomote! Oh, what a poke check. Nice poke. Oh, the top left cheese! Yes, there it is! One to nothing. What a shot by Ryan O'Reilly. Just the top left beating Carey Price. Makes it one to nothing. Oh, where are my defensemen doing? Oh, beautiful save by Pecorini. Keeping me in the game. Oh, Hemshki, all right. Anyway, it's still one to nothing. We're playing a pretty good game so far. Uh, I think Gallagher just got laid out, but we're playing good so far. Let's keep it up. Hopefully, get a couple more goals coming up. Let's see how many shots we got. Eight to four shots, four minutes time of attack to one. Definitely all playing him. No! And he scores a goal on a delayed penalty, which makes it one to one. Not a bad goal from the point. I'll, I'll give him that one. Oh my goodness. And now I cannot touch the puck at all. Two to one. Gotta get those, those goals back. Go Hemshi. You got him beat. You got him beat. Just shoot it. Oh, off the crossbar. Come on. We're so close. Come on Hemshi. What are you doing? Oh, are you serious? Henrik Zedin puts it into his own app. I'm not sure who that was, but it's now 3-1. to one. Come on. Yes, what a goal. We got one back. 57 seconds left. A couple of nice passing plays there. We need one more. Alexander Kane will bottle up along the boards by Tim Wallace. Carried by Tulusti. His shot is the bar! Yuri Tulusti answers back again as the Canes don't go away and they tie it at three. You can't help but be inspired by the resilient nature of this hockey club. Alright guys, so we're going into overtime and so far we're playing a pretty good game. Just want to quickly check the stats here. 20 to 20 in shots, 8 minutes, time around attacked at 5. He scored a couple lucky ones, but we're going to hopefully get a nice goal right at the end. Oh, there it is! 
What a go- Oh my goodness, a, a poke check, puck comes right on front, Henrik Sedin, debut goal! Beautiful, let's check out the amount of shots we get for that game, let's raise that buy now minimum to 2,000. We got 21 shots that game, we played a pretty awesome game if I say so myself, but let's go on to choosing that player, see what we get. That was a little bit too close for comfort guys, but we're going to raise that buy now minimum up to 2,000, and hopefully we can get something that will really improve our team, hopefully a defenseman. So, we got the 21 shots that game, let's choose the 21st player, so let's search up, see what we get. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Patrick Sharp is going to be the next pickup on our team. Let's throw him in and see where he fits in. Alright, just before we start the second game, just want to let you guys know that we slotted in Patrick Sharp into the first line, and now he's playing alongside with Henrik Zedin and Ryan O'Reilly. I moved down Mike Fisher to the second line, and I took up Bo Bennett and put in Teddy Purcell there for right now. But, we're going to get into the second game, hopefully it was as good as the first, so we can get a three game win streak if we can win the next one and open up a premium gold jumbo. Let's get into the second game. So we found an opponent, let's see who he has on his team, Miku Koivu, he's got Okposo, I didn't see who was on his left wing, but we're going to get this game going, we're wearing our Saskatoon Blades jersey, Patrick Sharp, get a shot on that, Oh god. Oh man, we we're pretty close to scoring, but that is going to be the end of the first period, and so far it's not too bad. Let's see how many shots we got. 3 and Owen shots. I gotta get some more shots on net. 1 minute 30, time on attack to 3. We gotta step up our game. Oh, beautiful save. I don't know who his goalie is. That's a penalty, come on. Come on, get the fuck. Yeah, there's a penalty. Oh my goodness, Ryan Miller, big saves. Come on, come on, we got this. Oh, what? That should have been a goal. I got really lucky on that one, but still 0-0. Zero to zero. Jesus. Yes, there it is. Ryan O'Reilly tucking in another one. He was just a scoring machine right now, but that makes it one to nothing in the second period. Let's keep it up. The board where it must be settled down, and for a moment was not by Shattenkirk, and a two on one, and it's more and across, and it's up. All right, that is the end of the game, guys. We won the league title as well, which is a pretty nice bonus. But we're going to check out how many shots we got that game. And we're also going to buy a premium gold jumbo. A very, very quiet game. Only 10 shots that game, but that makes it a little bit easier for us to choose that player. So I'll meet you guys at the buy now page. Good game to that guy for sure, it was a very tough game to score goals, and it was just a defensive battle the whole game, but we were able to break him down, and now, we can choose the 10th player, and raise that buy now minimum to 3,000, so let's see what we get, we'll buy a uh, pack right after that, so, let's see what we get, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Ryan McDonough is now going to be the next pickup on the team. That is a perfect pickup. I like left defenseman for sure in Hunt Roulette. And because we got a three game win streak, that means we can open up one 17,500 pack to improve our team. So let's hopefully get something good. I'm going to throw up the picture of the team of the week right now. It is absolutely sick. There's a 99 get slap out. There's 97 king. There's already a banner on the left side you can see right there. But hopefully we can pull one of those cards and improve our team even more. And I'm really looking for some left defensemen. So come on. Give us something good, EA. Come on, come on, come on. And the pack is opened. What is this? A Jones, Gianna, Beagle, Birch, Gustafson, and Malka. Oh man, there better be some players at the back. We gotta recover four games. We finally got our first coach, and it's gonna be Fiddler. We got Ivansky as well. Skewin, that's not a bad coach. But unfortunately, no really good players. But at least we got another left defenseman. Alright guys, so that was a very successful episode. We are on a three game win streak now and in this episode we picked up Patrick Sharp as well as uh, we got Ryan McDonough 
and Malka. I've never heard of him before, but hopefully he's a, a little bit more of a better defenseman than Soderberg. And as well as Pecorini did get a shutout. So from what I'm going to do from now on is if a goalie's going to get a shutout, I'm just going to put a plus five all on him, not a three game duration, just to make it a little bit easier. It's kind of like his hot streak and I'll just give him one plus five all. Anyways, that's about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed for this two-game episode. I'm going to do those from now on. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, Talusti, no. No, Talusti. Oh, no. Andrew Ghetto right on front. And there's another cross creaser right in front of the net. Colin Wolfen makes it 2 to nothing. Beautiful goal.